guys, all right, so in today's vlog, I'm going to talk about how it's actually detrimental to dream huge when you're a beginning entrepreneur. And I know this isn't what most people are used to hearing, or it, I don't even, I haven't heard it in the entrepreneurial circles ever, but it is, and I am telling you from experience, do not dream big when you begin um, a new business venture. And here's why. So a lot of us, a lot of us are alike, right? Like I know my entrepreneurial journey came from sheer pain. I decided I worked a very affluent job. I was a nursing instructor with my master's degree at a very young age. I was teaching nursing. And after my husband passed away, I began to ask the question, who am I? What do I love? Am I really a nurse or was I coaxed into nursing by my dad? Like, But at the time, I did love nursing. That's why I pursued and did my master's degree. Now, with that said, I started looking outside of nursing and what do I love? And on a personal level, what saved me after I lost my husband was fitness. I My, my cousin Harjeet used to pick me up from the house because I couldn't drive um, just due to the levels of stress. And she put me and she would go with me to this boot camp. So this boot camp literally saved my life. And fitness always, always saved me. Even when I was married and I, I got married into an abusive, um, into abuse basically. And even then what kept me sane was going to those cardio fit gym classes. So I, um... So naturally, when I was like, who am I? What do I love? The one thing that I know that has been a constant in my life was fitness. So it was like, oh, maybe I need to open up. Maybe I can be a fitness instructor because I did have um, Olympic lifting under my belt. I had some certifications with kettlebells. Like, I love fitness. So it's like, oh, maybe I could do that. Now, the problem there was I began to dream big. I began to look at spaces. I began to visualize. But you know what I should have done? And I was coming from a place of fear. So all of this visualization, it got me somewhere. It got me to a place. And the place that I uh, leased out, I had to build it all out, was way too big, way too expensive. I should not have done that. And what happened when I was in that flow of, it was almost like neediness. It was not my soul speaking. It was not like, because I didn't know how to tap into my energy back then. I didn't know how to tap into the yin energy. So I began um, action and that's yang. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs do that. That's why 90% of entrepreneurs fail is because they made the same mistakes that I had made in the beginning. So I began to looking, looking for places because I was dreaming big. I mean, how could I fail? I have a vision and I know I can do this and I'm going to put everything in it. And I did. But you know what that did because of the neediness, the contractor that I attracted didn't know what the hell he was doing. He gave me the wrong quotes for everything. Like, I mean hundred like thousands thousands and thousands of dollars of wrong quotes so right from the beginning I got put into something blind and I did it myself I'm not blaming him I would never like now I know I would never make the same mistakes again and then the instructors like the personal trainers that I hired my main personal trainer oh my god full uh, lazy he was really good at what he did but he was so so self-serving and just such an awful person but I was attracting these type of people in my life and I carried that on for four and a half years now I'm not going to say building a gym was completely bad I lost a lot of money doing it but you know I did build an amazing space that nobody else could have nobody it's it's a huge space I think I can't remember how many I think it's 8,000 square feet or something huge space for a fitness facility and I built it. Nobody else could have because they wouldn't have put the money in. I wouldn't have either if I knew how expensive it was going to be. But now it's in my community. Another gym owns it. And you know what? I look at it as a space of health and I built it. And I will take all that positive karma and take it with me until I die because I built that space. So that's where I say 
That's why I say do not dream big. Instead, what you want to do is you want to begin, and this is what rich people do. When you begin to um, kind of feel like I want to, I want to do something entrepreneurial, start surrounding yourself with high level entrepreneurs. Don't go to these meetups where everybody is new and fresh. Nobody has contacts. I made that mistake. Everybody is just learning and looking at you like, okay, what, what is Instagram? What do I have to do on Facebook? What are Facebook ads? When you're new and you're the smartest person in the room or people are looking at you for help, that's a problem. So the beginning steps is not to dream huge or not to go out and find a place that you can lease and start like spending money. You want to spend money last. The first thing you want to do is you want to somehow start climbing up that social ladder of entrepreneurialism and put yourself in the midst, midst, in the midst of um, entrepreneur, entrepreneurs who have experience and have attained success. That is what you want to do. Now, what I did, because for my second business, which is my soap business, which is I still do soap, um, I'm changing though. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing soap. Now, soap was more successful than the fitness business for me, but what I thought I was doing right was I went and got a coach. Now, the coach that I got, I was still in that energy, right? And he, oh, he instructed me you know, go bigger, do this, do that. And I did. And I started my Amazon accounts and I started, I started a sales funnel. But when I started doing the sales funnel, I knew it wasn't right for me. And I did it because he kind of like, you know, he was my coach. So he kind of like coached me to it. And I, but it never felt right with me. The email marketing, the follow up, all that shit wasn't for me. And I knew it. I knew it, but I did it anyways. And I failed. I failed so badly, even though I had a coach. So sometimes it's having a coach for something and it's not, it's not the way to go. Everybody is looking to get paid. Even branding. Do you really need um, to begin a brand right from the get-go? You need to start? No. What you need to do is you need to get out of your house and you need to start talking to your community. Start knowing the entrepreneurs that have done it and start learning from their experiences. Piggyback off of them. Find a mentor. Not a mentor who lives in the States and you're in Canada, because that's what I did. Find a mentor who is here physically, because I know if my coach was here physically, I would have been way more successful, because I could have met him. We could have done things together, like on the computer, instead of him talking to me via computer, and then me taking what he said and applying it. I did everything. I am not lazy. I did it all, and I was dreaming big, and you know what that did for me? Failure. It caused failure. And I'm not saying like I have been successful if you want to talk about money financially, but it's it wasn't all the action, all the like yang that I did. I still wasn't happy, especially after the last funnel I did. I was spent, I was burnt out, and I think that's where entrepreneurs quit, and that's why it's like 90% fail. So do not dream big in the beginning. Dream small, find mentors and like have some guidance. Don't start spending money right away. Do not do that. Um, and be yin, like be non-reactive because as entrepreneurs, we're like so reactive because it's like, go, go, go action oriented. No, I please, I urge you, especially if your personality is go, go, go like mine, I'm a go-getter. If I want something, I'm going to go get it. Back off, back off a little bit, wait, take a breath, take a week, take two weeks, and then act on it when it feels right. And finally, now I'm doing YouTube. It took me seven years. I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. I'm good at it. I love doing this. This is easy, but it took me still seven years. Two businesses. This is going to be my third try at it. Seven years. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.